So modern slavery is um, a situation whereby somebody is forced into a situation and forced to do things that they, they don't want to do. There is a distinction between trafficking and modern slavery now. Generally with trafficking it's people that are brought in from foreign countries and put into places of, of slavery. Whereas modern slavery is once they're on site, so it could be from London to Birmingham, they then become modern slaves. And slavery such as we all know the Cinderella story, whereby it's domestic servitude, they're brought in, they're forced to sleep on the floor. However, it also encompasses situations such as sexual exploitation or forced labour. So for example, someone will be told that they have a job on a on a construction site, they'll be promised opportunities. When they arrive, in fact, they have to work without any health and safety equipment. They're forced to sleep in really scary conditions and they're not paid at all. So those are the basic forms of modern slavery. There are many, many more, but um, those are the basic ones. Now, I know you're trying to shed more light and create more awareness around modern slavery. Is this because it's an issue that's growing and therefore needs more attention or is it just something that you feel needs to be brought to the public's awareness regardless? Well the thing is what people don't seem to realise is that in fact according to the United Nations there are more slaves today than there have ever been in modern history. So um, the latest report says that there are about 45 million slaves around the world and the thing is with the UK being at the forefront within the European Union to, to bring about the support for victims of trafficking. We are leading in that domain um, and as a result of that we are raising more awareness that in fact this is a problem. It has always been a problem but we are highlighting that it's a problem and the more people start noticing an issue then it becomes more and more um, prevalent. You've recently launched a modern slavery campaign. Can you tell us a little bit more about it and what you hope it's going to achieve? So essentially the new campaign, and we're piloting it with the Nigerian community, which is why we're here today to, to promote it, is essentially to support and raise awareness within the community about domestic servitude. So this is um, illegal home help, shall we say. So. There is within the Nigerian community, everyone knows that home help is acceptable. Sometimes it's absolutely fine and the people that work within the homes are protected. They have very good um, opportunities, they have very good food and they've got very good wages. That's not what we're um, raising awareness about today. Unfortunately, the majority of people who are home help are illegal home help, which means that these are people who will come into a family and essentially will work between 10 to 16 hours a day, will be expected to be on call out of those hours, will have either no food or very little food, will have no contact with their family, and essentially are Cinderella stories where they are forced to work in situations that are just unhealthy. Now, the use of the word slavery in the title of your campaign, is that a deliberate use? Because when you think about the term slavery, it's quite harsh, it's quite graphic. And I'm sure a lot of people would think, oh, the scenarios are very different now. This, is, this isn't really slavery, this person isn't in chains. Um, so was that a deliberate use? No, not really, because some of the... Um some of the people that we work with are in fact in the same conditions as they were back in the 1800s. Some people are chained up in basements for hours, years, decades um, without having seen the light of day. I mean, there's, I have worked with an individual who, when she came into a safe house, essentially she insisted on staying outside during the day simply because she hadn't felt breath, just wind on our face in 25 years. So there you've got that situation. You also have the other side of slavery, which is very different, although it's not physical chains, it's very emotional chains. So you'll have someone who will threaten an individual, say, if you run away, I'm going to kill your family. And that in itself is an emotional chain. So although it's very different and not visible, it is just as powerful to the individual. This particular campaign pays attention to the Nigerian community and creating awareness within that specific community. How have you gone about that, taking into consideration the cultural norms of having house helps and also not sort of creating offence and being very sensitive to people's culture and way of doing things with regards to the modern slavery campaign? I think that, as I said earlier on, um, Having home help isn't the issue that of, of illegality. That's not the point of slavery. And I think by having that situation, that connection, it's very clear when someone has uh, a, a, someone who's a home help 
who is healthy, who is happy, who is being treated well compared to a home help who's not. And there are very clear indicators and we'd ask that the community be aware of those indicators. So if someone <clears throat> It's very distinct from the family, so their clothing are very poor, they're clearly malnourished, their sleeping conditions are extremely poor, such as sleeping on the floor, on a tiled cold floor in winter. Those are all signs of illegal home help, rather than when you've got home help where someone has their own room, they are part of the family, although they're employed by the family, they are part of the family. And we're asking people to note those distinctions. If someone appears very scared, that would highlight that that person's not happy and they're potentially being forced to do what they're, what they're doing without their consent. So just to clarify, having help from your home country isn't illegal if you follow all the necessary procedures, which is to have them registered, have the right documentation. Now, the thing is with home help, it's not at all illegal to have home help from your home country. Um, you have to obviously apply through the home office and get the adequate visas to ensure that that individual, that home help, is legally able to stay and be in the UK. Um, however, what can happen is people will follow the proper appropriate channels and bring people in legally but it's once they arrive then they're put in situations of modern slavery which means that they may be promised I don't know minimum wage to do the hours that they do but in fact when they arrive they don't get any salary they are part of the family they're not allowed to leave the house they're not allowed to eat at a table they get scraps they're not allowed to eat they're not allowed to go to a shop in order to get basic hygiene materials Th those kind of things are where there is a distinction between legal home help and illegal home help now that we've identified some of the signs of someone who might be a, a modern slave what support is available to them or to anyone who suspects that an individual is being kept against their will? Well, there is um, what is known as the Modern Slavery Helpline. It's, it's a completely confidential helpline where anybody can phone. And I mean, this is used by the general public. It's used by professionals. It's used by experts, police forces, anybody who seeks guidance or who wants to disclose information. As I said, it's completely confidential. It's completely anonymous. So it, don't be scared to contact the, the Modern Slavery Helpline if you think that someone's going to come back to you. That's not what it is. But essentially, it's, it's a Modern Slavery Helpline and the telephone number is 0800 012 1700 and it is a free telephone number. If you have any suspicions about someone being a, a potential slave or a modern slave, just contact them, speak to them, give them the information that you've got and then let them take over, let them take control. If there is a situation of potential slavery, then they will call the police. Okay. What are the consequences for someone who is an offender in terms of trafficking or enslaving another individual? I have to stress that slavery is illegal in the UK. It is a crime. It is as criminal as rape, as murder. And if someone is caught to have been um, a, a slave master or a trafficker, then they will be prosecuted for it. Obviously, different prosecution charges will vary according to the crime and, and the involvement. But it is to stress that worst case scenario, we are talking imprisonment.